It would be difficult for any new coach to take over Bill Snyder's legendary football program, and Coach Prince did achieve some nice things for K-State when he first arrived. However, with little signs of future progress, along with some angry K-State donors, it seemed it was time for Prince to go. Bob Krause and the administration just figured with all those things piled into one that it was best right now for them to get a head start, for the donors to realize that, hey, my money's in the right spot, that now is the time to do it for Coach Prince to be let go. The decision to fire Prince during the season came as a bit of a shocker for some, but as it turns out, it was a very smart move by K-State. With what Coach Prince did this last offseason in signing a lot of junior college guys and already having a decent junior class for this year, it means that if you don't get rid of him this year, no coach in their right mind is going to take over Kansas State after next year if you decide to camp Prince after next year because you lose so many seniors. As for the rumors swirling about the hiring of a new head coach, Nothing has been finalized yet, but who knows, maybe we'll get to see a familiar face. A lot of people are pointing at Bill Snyder uh, to make a comeback. Um, if he were to come back, I doubt he would stay more than two years. I think he would probably put together a staff um, of people that he could eventually hand over his job to somebody else and kind of groom a coach. With the season coming to a close and no head coach to look forward to, how are the Wildcats getting motivation to win the next two games? The biggest thing that these players have to play for right now is bowl qualification. They can still make a bowl if they win these last two games of the regular season. For now, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. From K-State, Whitney No, Manhattan Matters.